Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to unbox and do a little test of the Makita 12 volt drill driver and impact driver. Now these tools are brushed and this was a part of the Black Friday slash holiday sale at Home Depot for $100. Now this comes with uh, a charger, a bag, two batteries, a drill driver and impact driver. And this is model number uh, CT232 as the kit. And yes, this uh, I wanted this to add to the arsenal for the 12 volt systems. Now, when it comes to all the tools I have, I'm actually starting to fall in love with the 12 volt systems more than the 18 and 20 uh, and 24 volt systems. Now, though, because the as of recent uh, recent years, the 12 volt systems are actually extremely powerful now, and so they're no longer weak tools. Like I said before, Ryobi needs to upgrade their 12 volt system to a brushless. Uh, to brushless tools and they need to update it fast so because uh, a lot of people like using the 12 volt uh, systems because they're smaller tools they have more room in your bag and they're they're actually very powerful for most of the stuff you'll do when it comes to construction only downfall is the battery won't last nearly as long so we're gonna unbox this bad boy and see what's inside and uh, charge the, some batteries and see what this can do Let's actually put you up a little bit. All right, so for the, this is comes with uh, two belt clips, a bag. Wow, this is actually a pretty big bag for for this, uh, which is funny. The the 18 volt stuff actually comes in a smaller bag, but you can always use bags. Could always use more bags. Two belt clips, instructions. That goes in the instruction bag. And then we get the charger. Now this is, this is a, ooh, I like this. Does this support oh, just the 10.8 uh, to 12 volt uh, system max? This is model number uh, DC10WD. This is a small charger. I like that. I like that charger. This, the, this one seems a lot more hefty uh, plastic than the 18 volt charger. Yeah, this charger is beefier. Yeah, this charger is beefier than the, the bigger model. I like that. See, like now the 18 volt system should have had a, char a charger this, this hefty. I like that. Of course, light indicators to tell you the status of the battery and what the lights indicate uh, on display. The description. So once again, this is model number. Oh, this one you could hang up on the wall. It has rubber stops on the bottom, and you are able to mount this up on the wall. The 18 volt system you cannot. All right. So, and then we get the on this. Uh, the batteries actually come on the tool. This is a 1.5 amp hour battery. Model number BL1016. 17 watt hour, 12 volt max, 10.8 to 12 volt max. So I'm pretty sure under a load it goes to 10.8. No battery status, unfortunately, on the on the uh, on the battery. So we are actually gonna put this on charge right now. Alright, so and then let's might as well just take out the other tool, discard the box. All right, so the model number for the drill driver is uh, FD09, 12 volt system, two speed variation, B2, it is zero to 1700 RPM, and it is a uh, 20 point uh, clutch plus one. I like that click. Has a very nice click. Three eighths inch chuck. And yes, so so yeah, I can't wait to add this to the versus videos against the other 12 volt systems. And yes, this thing is uh this thing is awesome. 
This thing is awesome. And like I said in previous videos, uh, Makita's handle is my second favorite out of all the tools. Ryobi's number one because the handle is fat and it's molded. Uh, it's molded perfectly to fit fingers in and so it's not an awkward hold. Makita is the same way. I love Makita's uh, uh, handle. It, it feels really good in the hand. And so yeah, that is the drill driver. Brushed motor, of course. And then we get the Makita quarter inch hex impact 12 volt brushed motor. And the model number for this is a DT03, 12 volt system of course. Uh, variable trigger only, LED light uh, underneath the, co uh, the collet and on the drill driver, LED light underneath the, the chuck. And what's the stats on this? Uh, it is... Uh, 0 to 2600 RPM and 0 to 3500 impacts per minute. Now for a 12 volt system, 3500 impacts per minute is a lot. It is a lot. Let's see what this sounds like. I do not know what the battery status is on this. Very good. Very good. And the 12 oh, and the 12 volt drill. Battery is dead. Battery needs to be charged. So we're going to let these batteries charge and we are going to do a couple of little tests with these. One thing we might as well do while we're waiting. Like I said, for this type of job, uh, a very, very uh, weak tool. Uh, uh, I think this is a 4 volt, a 3.6 volt with a 1.5 amp hour battery in it uh goes to zero to 200 rpm perfect for doing attachments and also perfect for taking apart tools and fixing them because you will you will not drive the screw further in than what it, it's allowed to do where it goes on the other side of the clamshell I need to put that on charge. I haven't put this on charge since I got it. I'll put this bad boy on charge. USB charger. Looking at the bag really quick on the inside, you actually get some uh, some uh, straps and you get some pouches for batteries, drill bits, and your tools and your charger. So that's actually pretty nifty inside the bag. So that's actually pretty nifty inside the bag to get that stuff. To so get the strips, you get pouches. You know, that's, that's awesome. So it's not just a bag, you know, there's actual storage compartments inside for the bag. Which is very good. Alrighty, we're just going to do a couple of very quick tests on this and see how it does. We're going to test out the 12 volt uh, drill driver first. Remember this is a brushed motor. It is not a brushless version. So we are going to need this. We're going to do two holes with one inch and two holes with one and one eighth. And then move on to the, put this one on charge as well. And then move on to the impact. Very good, oh, that's, that's one and one eighth. It does have that, the ratchet click, gotta love that. All right, we're going to do one on speed one, and then one on speed two. All right, so ready? Ooh. I'm going to need a new spade bit. This one's bent. Now, don't judge this test because of the bent spade. That's unfair, actually, to judge that. I'll get a new one. I'll get a new one for that. All right, so we're going to do one and one eighth, uh, speed one, ready, go. All right, that's too slow. It 
it's it's through. All right, that, that is the test of that. Is that no? Nope, that's straight. All right, good. I'm not too impressed with it that much. Uh, I as the it's a brushed motor. You know, it's an older model. They uh, Makita needs to make a brushless version that's more powerful. But there you go. Very good. Let's move on to the uh, the impact. Alrighty. So does the collet just push in? Nope. You got to adjust the collet to get the bit in. All right, we're gonna test this out on two 10 inch uh, timber lock screws. See what this can do. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Let's do a quick test to see if it can take it out. Yes, it can. All right. All right, we're going to do one right here. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, let's do a quick test to see if we can take it out. Yes, it can. All right, so we're gonna take these both out uh, at the same time. I'm gonna go to the next one as fast as possible. All right, so ready? All right, now remember this is with the old brushed tool, so it didn't do too bad of a job for a toilet system. You know, it's not like the, the brushless DeWalt or the brushless Milwaukee. You know, it's a brush tool. So this is equivalent to Milwaukee's M12 version of their old brushed impact. So, all right, so many versus videos coming up. I'm glad I have this in my arsenal. It is good to have. And, uh, and yeah, it didn't do too bad of a job. Uh, now, I do wish Makita would upgrade these to their brushless uh, tools. And so, yes, and make uh, uh, more powerful batteries that are like 3 amp hour or 4 amp hour instead of just having 1.5s. So this has been the unboxing and demonstration of the Makita drill driver and a quarter hex inch impact uh, driver. Both brushed, both 12 volt systems. Didn't do bad of a job. These are going to get majorly tested against others, other brands in the future. So that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.